Hey, what's up guys? Um, Mr. Shimo here. Today we are going to talk about locations, how to find locations of features in maps. So I'm going to use this illustration here. Uh, this is an artwork on a chalkboard that I have on my computer that I'm going to use to basically give this class. Right? So please dive with me. Most of the time I'm not going to be looking at the camera because I have to look at the computer that I'm using to teach. Right? Let's start. As the topic says, how to find locations in maps yeah how to find locations in maps so first thing when you come when, when, when you're talking about location there are three things that one should be very clear with, uh, with regard to location so first thing we have met, uh, degrees minutes and seconds and one thing that you guys all need to take away with today is that one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds so that is that is very important information that we need to understand already right at the beginning of this lesson and that will help us to be able to actually understand the entire topic of how to find locations in maps okay so next thing we need to understand is longitudes and the latitudes so the longitudes are these ones that are running from north to south Okay, and the reference line for the lines of longitude, we call it a Greenwich Meridian, which just passes through mainland England, um, the Greenwich City, and uh, the ones that run from west to east or east to west, or however you want to go about it, this ones here, we call those um, latitudes, lines of latitudes, and when you, they intersect, they form a grid. Now, we use that grid to basically have uh, to, to coordinate locations, right? To find locations of features because every line of longitude and line of latitude have got a value in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds. And we can use those coordinates to find locations. And that's what we are going to do today. Okay. So in this case, not all the lines of longitudes and latitudes will be given values. It's just, it's a matter of you now going and to find what the values are which is quite simple so if this line the first one that we have here it says 16 degrees 13 minutes and guys very important a degree this is a sign of a degree this is one of um, a minutes this is when you when there are two like that is that is seconds all right so so in other words this entire lo longitude line of longitude so anything in this line of longitude will be 16 degrees 13 minutes but you have to give reference of which side of the greenwich meridian west or east or which side of the equator north or south is that making sense okay and then we always when you're starting to give uh, a coordinates we should always mention or start with the lines of latitudes right so for us to get a general direction of this map we want to know which side of the Greenwich Meridian was this specific map taken from and which side of the equator was this map taken from. So in this case, we're going to start with the equator. So as we can see, as we are going up, as we are going up, the numbers are increasing. So I'm just going to use this arrow here to illustrate what I'm talking about. So as we go up, the numbers are increasing because this is 20 degrees, 50, uh, 20 degrees, 57 minutes. So this, this will be 20 degrees, 58 minutes. This will be 20 degrees, 59 minutes. This will be 20, 21 degrees, zero minutes, 21 degrees, one minute. So as you go up, the values of the longitudes, I mean, the latitudes are increasing. So that means, this means the equator is here at the bottom. So the equator is actually somewhere down there. So we are actually on the north side of the equator. Okay, so we are on the north side of the equator because the values are increasing as you go to the north. So that's basically how you get it. So the values are increasing as you go to the north. The values of the longitudes are increasing as you go up in the north. So that says it all. We are increasing as we go up the equator. Okay, I mean, yeah, as we go up the north the values are increasing so that means the equator is at the bottom uh, in the south all right uh, but we are on the north of the equator okay this with regard to this specific map 
and then another interesting thing that we need to find out is which direction or which side of the Greenwich Meridian are we at and as you can see this is 16 minutes 16 degrees uh, 13 minutes yeah okay so I'm gonna stand to explain this better all right so here it's 15 degrees I mean 16 degrees 13 minutes and then this will be 16 degrees 14 minutes 16 degrees 15 minutes 16 degrees uh sub, six, 17 16 minutes and then 16 degrees 17 minutes and then 16 degrees 18 minutes okay let's just go through again i think i'm not sure uh, let me let's just hope i didn't mix up the numbers 13 14 15 16 17 yes so that's it so that means as you go to the east what is happening to the value of the um meridians i mean the longitudes it's increasing so that means we are so as, as you go to the east the values are increasing so basically we're going to the east so all our references are going to be north east is that making sense so all our references is going to be north east now let's go in to find the locations of specific features let's say um point a let's let's start with the first simple ones let's say here i'm gonna change that color to let's say red Okay, so somewhere here we have point A, right there. Okay, point A. Now the question is saying, what is the location of point A? Or give the location of point A, both in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So what will the location of point A be? Okay, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to work this out with you guys. And then I'm going to give you an activity for point B for you to work it out. Five, you can pause the video and then work out and then later you can see the answer in the video as well okay so point a um that will be so point a will be 16 so this this longitude here but so this longitude here is going to be 16 degrees 14 minutes and the latitude here is going to be 21 degrees zero minutes and remember we always start with the latitude so that's that's the location is going to be 21 degrees zero minutes and zero seconds north and so and then it will be 16 16 degrees 14 okay 14 minutes and zero seconds okay uh, what direction east Okay, I hope that makes sense. Let's find B. B, I'm gonna put B here, somewhere here. Let's say I'm gonna put B here. Let this is let's say this is B. Now, the question is saying find the coordinates of B. B is here. Find the coordinates of B. So what will the coordinates of B be? So pause the video and then find the answer. So I hope you have paused the video. Thank you now we i will give you the answers then you could just compare your answers to mine so b it will be after uh, you have worked it out i believe i believe you've worked it out so uh the coordinates of b remember i told you always always you start with the latitudes so in this case it's gonna be 20 degrees uh 58 minutes zero no 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 minutes is one zero seconds north okay and then the latitude value is this one here so it's gonna be 16 degrees how many minutes okay so this is 13 14 15 it's gonna be 16 so 16 minutes 16 minutes and how many seconds zero because it is in the what right or in the line in the main line and what direction east okay now let's make it more a little bit more complicated let's say we want to find the location of c c okay that is c there right in the middle of a column let's say we want to find the location of c what will the location of c be okay 
So C, I'm going to go through with you to find C. And then you guys are going to post a video. And then you're going to find for me the D. Okay? You're going to find the location of D for me. But meantime, I'll go through with you to find C, which is a little bit complicated. It's not like A and B, which is very easy. And then we're going to find the location of C. I mean, you're going to find the location of D. So C, in this case, will be equal to... Um, remember... We said one degree is equal to 60 seconds, one second, one minute. I mean, one degree is equal to 60 minutes, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now, C, firstly, this is going to be, it's, 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 the value is going to be, so this is going to be 20, uh, no, no, 21 degrees, okay? It's going to be 21 degrees, it's going to be zero minutes and 30 seconds 30 seconds no right why is it 30 seconds because if you go with this i'm going to put it in a broken line go with it like this it's going to be right in the middle of a column and remember i said from here from this point to this point that is equal to a minute so that means it's 60 seconds and if it's right in the middle that's going to give us 30 seconds so that's going to be 30 seconds that's why our uh, coordinates for C in terms of latitude is going to be 21 degrees, 0 minutes, 30 seconds north, and 16. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere here. Okay, so that's going to be 16 degrees. How many minutes? 14, 15, 16. 16 minutes. Okay, how many seconds? Still gonna be 30 seconds. 30 seconds east. Okay, so that is because it's found right in the middle of a column. Now, with that help, I hope that helped. I hope that helped. Now let's find the coordinates of D. Post the video and give us work out the coordinates of D here. So what do you think will the coordinates of D be? Pause the video and work out the coordinates quickly. Thank you. I'm going to help you now to find the coordinates of D, which I believe, I believe the answer is going to be exactly the same because we've been following since I was giving the examples of C. So the coordinates of D, again, we start with latitudes. We start with the latitudes here. So D is here. So that's going to be 20 degrees, 20 degrees, 57 minutes, and about 45 45 seconds okay so that's gonna be somewhere around that area so if you just take a dotted line so that is gonna be let's say 45 or let's say 50 seconds it's gonna be 50 seconds so that's gonna be 20 degrees 20 degrees uh 58 minutes 58 minutes and 50 seconds north okay okay and then um the longitude coordinates will be that so that will be somewhere here not a little bit off the middle so and remember i said um one minute is equal to remember i said one minute is equal to 60 seconds so from this point to this point that this from here to here is equal to a minute so this is probably going to be 0, 20 minutes. So this is going to be 20 seconds. So we're going to make it 16 degrees, 13 minutes, and um, 20 seconds east. Right. Thank you very much. I hope, I believe... The answer or answers are the same as mine. They might be off a little bit, maybe three, four seconds off. You might have gotten maybe 52 or 48 seconds instead of 50, like I did here. So, but that's not a problem, like I did here. But that's not a problem. Or 20 seconds, instead of you make, making 20, you made, let's say, 18 or maybe uh, um, 22. That's also not a problem. For as long as you've got your seconds... Uh, at least closer it must not be five seconds of the right answer all right so that's it guys that's how to find coordinates 
uh, of our locations of features in maps. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next video. And please subscribe and like the video and share with the others. Thank you. Bye.